The kids are really enjoying the weather, enjoying the park. And for the all parents of the, above. Of the kids, <laughs> right. who we always have to consider getting the kids out, doing things, That's right. right. that energy. Active. But you know, it feels nice outside. It was yes. just warm today. Finally, we were above average for downtown LA. I know we've okay. seen it a felt, few weeks. I felt like it was pretty warm. warm. Yeah. Very warm today. AC yeah. was definitely on in the car. It, me too. <laughs> right. I know. And and we are going to be feeling that warmth heading into tomorrow as well. But I do want to get you caught up on what we're talking about down wow. to the south of us. Wow, where is this Santa Monica, Santa Monica. Yeah. look at that packed Santa Monica pier uh, and again yeah it's a, just a perfect day to head outside but we are starting to see some changes as we head into this evening we are watching what was once uh, was once hurricane Alvin and was tropical depression Alvin and that is what we are calling it right now and we are starting to see some moisture coming up so that southwesterly flow really allowing that push of moisture as we head into this evening but most of this it looks like rain but most of it at this hour falls falling in the form of Virga, meaning in the mid levels and not actually hitting the ground at this hour. So we're going to continue to see those high to mid level clouds stream in as we head into later this evening and temperatures today are currently really warm out there, especially for the Inland Empire. We are talking uh, upper 80s, upper 70s for Orange County, as well as downtown and 72 out towards the beaches this evening. So future cash showing us as we head into tonight and into the overnight hours again, we're going to start to see those clouds filter in really off all across Southern California and heading into tomorrow morning, we do have a slight chance to see some rain some precipitation from uh, tropical depression Alvin through the San Fernando Valley right along the coast. But the best chance is going to be in our local mountains heading into tomorrow morning through the afternoon hours. But take a look by Sunday night, really going to clear out of there. So it's really going to be short lived. We'll see those clear skies as we head into the afternoon hours. Temperatures tomorrow are going to feel a lot like what we felt today. So along the coast, lower to mid 70s as we head inland, we're talking 80s and another round of 90s for the high deserts tomorrow. So Palmdale at 90 tomorrow, as well as the Inland Empire, 94 for San Bernardino, 93 for Riverside and Big Bear City in the lower 70s tomorrow. So as we head into the start of the week, uh, an area of low pressure all the way out towards the Pacific Northwest. This is going to create this trough and it's going to bring us slight cooling as we head throughout the week through Thursday. And then by the weekend, we are going to be warming back up. Here's a look at the extended forecast. So that slight chance of rain as we head into tomorrow morning through the afternoon hours and and then Monday, we are going to be looking at slight cooling. So the metro area is back down into the upper 70s. We're talking the return of 80s for the valleys as well as other areas, but still stuck in the 90s for the Inland Empire and then warming back up as we head into next weekend. Back to you.